you got a real up close look at our health system. I did. I'll tell you, it was Is remarkable it to watch President Obama give that address to the joint houses of Congress um, from the Mount Sinai cafeteria with the workers and my mom upstairs. Um, we went through the most devastating, uh, broken system. It was astounding. At first, I thought we could leave her at night, but then we realized we had to sleep with her every single night to protect her from all of the errors and the lack of communication. It's beyond health insurance. It's and this is a good hospital. And this is considered one of the best hospitals in the country until we met this remarkable woman named Dr. Diane Meyer, who was one of the leaders of the palliative care movement in the country, and taught us what it means to, for a doctor to actually listen. Two things that patients need. A doctor who listens, or the doctors to listen, and how to deal with pain. Doctors can't do that very well. In order to do that, you have to spend some time with your patient. Mm -hmm. You have to hear what they're going through because it is very difficult to heal if you are going, pain makes you sicker. And for doctors to sit and to understand, that was remarkable for me and taught me how you say goodbye, five things you want to convey to someone if they are dying. Thank you, forgive me, I forgive you, I love you, and goodbye. Well, Amy, I'm not going to say those five things, but I am going to say goodbye. But thank you so much for your work. And it sounds, your description sounds like journalism. What do we need to heal is to listen, and you do it beautifully. And you speak, of course. But you've created media you institutions that enable us to go where the pain is and to figure out how to get to somewhere better.